Team Success actually started six years ago. The idea of the project was, I'm originally from a ghetto area in the city of Weile in Denmark. So this area had a lot of troubled kids who came from troubled homes. And in the area we had different kind of gangs and drugs and gang shootings going on. So the idea was to create an alternative to these gangs and to give the kids a kind of recognition and reaffirming through their school instead of being on the street. If you look at the population group in Denmark in general, but also in, in the city where we started, um, there's a lot of people who have another ethnic background than Danish. So most of them are either Palestinian refugees, Afghan refugees or Somalis. They come from most of the Middle East and most of the world in general. But uh, they have one thing in common is that their parents usually come from war or from other traumatized uh, countries. And therefore they don't have the same ability as usual Danish parents to help their kids with school and work. So one of the things we do is create a real alternative to gangs. We also use it in our way of speaking about the gangs. So we tell the kids in our organization that they are also a part of a gang, but a gang that is focused more on success, that is focused on their school and their job, instead of be focusing on jobs and drugs. So what we did to make the project sustainable, we took 30 of the strongest kids in the city, put them together and gave them different kind of education in one year. And after that year, we took the disadvantaged kids and put them in, that, in the same room. And then automatically, they couldn't help being influenced in a positive way. And the other good thing is then the project became sustainable because we had very strong hands to keep there and to tutor the kids. So every single year we could see that the average character they got in school uh, was going up for every single year. And the other thing is that most of them were not in a job before they started and 80% of them were in job when the year was uh, done. Um, and then we have uh, had a lot of personal stories, like we had people who would go from a C or D in school and then to, a, to an A in uh, three months or four months. Throughout the last six years, we've actually reached out to over nine different cities in Denmark and to 600 youth who's been benefiting by our work and over 200 who's been uh, tutoring and helping these kids to get forward in life.